got some good one on one players. Um, you know, Joe Johnson is a good one on one player. And sometimes it, it comes down to that. I mean, you play team basketball, but sometimes it comes down to, you know, guys got to be able to make plays and make shots. And, um, you know, Goran is a good one on one player. I am too. And stuff break down. So we, we have a few guys that can, you know, get shots and get other guys' shots. And that's, that's huge. Can you speak to Goran? Because career playoff high last night, or at least ties it. We know he can run an offense, but he seems to be stepping up as a scorer this year. Yeah, I mean, the last two games, I mean, game seven in this game, I mean, he's really, you know, came uh, with a spark uh, that's been amazing for us. I mean, scoring the basketball at that rate, uh, it's what we need, you know. And obviously, you know, we're not putting pressure on Goran or anyone on here to say, hey, we need that every night. You know, that's why we, we play team sport. You know, it's <clears> different nights, different guys. But, you know, when Goran is playing at that kind of uh, aggressiveness, the pace that he's playing at, you know, we're a tougher team for sure. What has changed from last night to avoid? all those late clock situations. Get in the situation again and just try to get the ball in the round, man. You know, it's... No, I mean, not, not, not the, the... I'm talking about, like, the, the, the late the shot clock. You guys... Oh, well, you're going to get late in the shot clock. I mean, sometimes you can't, you can't avoid it. You know, it's, it's going to happen. Um, you know, sometimes it's not a bad thing. Sometimes you want to take the clock. You want to take the time down. So you put yourself in late in the shot clock on purpose because you feel you got the guys that's going to make the right play. And you feel you got guys that you can shot makers. Um, so... You're not going to ever um, not be late in the shot clock. Um, that's why I say it's, it's good that we got guys that have the ability late in the shot clock to make things happen. I hope I didn't, Mike. You did. I think you did. Oh, well, let's see what you got. Because I'm passing the buck if I answer. <laughs> the, uh, obviously, LeBron's flirting with you again. Uh, huh? LeBron's flirting, flirting with you again. Eastern Conference Finals. He said he thinks about the possibility of matching up with you guys. Both of you guys being 1-0 right now in your series. It's a lot to still be played out, but for him to say he's still thinking about the possibility of what that could be. Really you talk to me, I think if we get four wins in the series, then I'll answer that question. So you hadn't been asked yet? I did. I was asked. I was asked in a different way, but I was simple. it was simple. He just asked it a little different. He said he was flirting. Does <laughs> your, uh, your, your mentality on defense change when you get out of the the grind of the 82 regular season games, and now you're in these situations where every single game is so crucial. Yeah, well, you can lock in a little bit more. Uh, you know, when you're playing, when, you, when you're locked into a seven-game series, you, you get to learn your opponents a little more than the offensive sets. Uh, so you can lock in more just from that standpoint. But yeah, it just, these means more. You know, it just means a lot more to you know, to every possession. You know, in the playoffs, and obviously, no one plays every possession. Amazing, but you know, way more than a regular season. Focus have to be there. Is it that you don't? Is it that you don't conserve at all when you're in the playoffs? Is it a case yeah. of conserving energy at times during the regular season? Yeah, to be able to get through a game as opposed to in the playoffs, you don't. Yeah, it's just a totally different mentality, you know. Um, and then you know, like I said, the, the one thing that really, really helps is that you know, in, in the regular season, you might you know have to play a game, fly to another city, play a different opponent, fly to another city, play a different opponent. We got one opponent to, to play, and we can really focus and lock in on that. And um, that helps you. That even helps your your focus and your, your intensity defensively because you know a guy's strengths. You know what he likes to do. Uh, Sometimes, it's just like, that's why a lot of times a game one is a tough game because it's always a fill-out process. And that's what the regular season is a lot of times. When you're playing guys four or five nights, it's just filling this team out. You know, when you get to play them two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times, not eight, seven times, um, you know. We all look better defensively, I think. It seems like motivational, too. It sticks in your head. Like I, like, I couldn't even count the number of times you said Frank Kaminsky's name after game three. Like, it just kind of gnaws at you. I said it a lot of times. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the day after game three against Charlotte, you were, it's, you seemed like you were very eager to get another chance at that. Yeah. Is well, that, is that another take, factor in a playoff series? Yeah, because I, I me, me, uh, <clears throat> I take things and I look at, you know, uh, Frank Kaminsky first, basket I got him going I was guarding you know and um, at that moment I laxed was it fatigue or what it was whatever it was I laxed and allowed him to get that I went for the steal and he got that layup and all it takes is small things like that to get a guy going so you know uh, he got it going it was some shots he hit after that that was amazing but he was on our radar after that you know and it's just about you know not you know not saying you don't respect the guy, but you pay a little bit more attention to him when he get the ball. You lock in a little bit more to his strengths. But in the regular season, if that happens, you might not see the guy for two months. Right, I might not Whereas see him for two months. Whereas if DeRozan or Lauer or somebody gets you, you're gonna you're gonna have another crack at it. Yeah, you got another crack at it to know you know not to get beat on it again. Or, you know, 
Well, you know, some players are just that good where it doesn't matter what you do. They want to be able to get the shots they want. And some nights you go in, some nights it doesn't. But, yeah, it's easier when you got a day in between and then you can lock in on, you know, on that guy the next time.